All right, here we have a 2008 EX250 chassis with an EX500 motor. Someone has done some serious fabrication and wedged this motor into it. Uh, we'll come over here, and you can see they had to fab up some brackets to make all this work right. Um, they pull it off, and it works. It runs. Don't exactly know what they were doing with it. You can see it's got an extended swing arm. Um, I started peeling some of this away, and it's actually like fiberglass. So I don't know what's going on underneath that. Uh, I don't really want to know. We're just going to throw that one right away. It does have a really cool tail light. It's blue. blue. It's red with blue accents, which does illuminate. Coming on down to the right side here. You see there is some rash in the pipe. So I'm guessing this pipe fits an EX500 motor. Uh, according to the VIN number on it, it's an EX500. See the right side here has got some rash where it has laid down as well as the throttle tube and the brake lever. He's got some interesting aftermarket mirrors here. The right one's intact. There's some rash here on the bezel as well as the upper. The upper is all messed up as well as the windscreen. The headlight, um, the, don't know what's going on in the back of it. It is functional. The high and low beam is working. Let's see if I can find that button. There we go. So high and lows are working, but you can see the upper is split in half. The left side ferry doesn't look too bad. There's a few scratches in it. The gas tank don't look bad at all here on the left side. Forgot to look on the right side here for you. The seat's in good shape as well as the passenger. The tail's in decent shape. Looks like they cut away a part of the undertail here. The license plate bracket. Um, the odometer is showing 25,688 miles. As far as what is actually on the motor, we do not know. It does have some nice aftermarket clip-on risers. You can see the left mirror is intact. He's got a water bottle rigged up here for his overflow. Someone had a nice little project here. You can see the air box has been eliminated and now it's got these pod filters on them. Pretty sure they're just screens, no real actual filter in them. I have no blinker, so I cannot demonstrate that. But let's see if I can't let's see if you can't see that. The brake light does illuminate on the front brake. The rear brake it is not illuminating, so I'm not sure if it's just a sensor. Most likely it's just a sensor. Might be unplugged or who knows what exactly. I don't know if this is a name brand exhaust or if the gentleman made this exhaust. Uh, we'll have to do a little more research. I don't see any real branding on it. So there's a sticker back here. That might tell us something. But I'm going to go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Test the transmission for you. Uh, the transmission's a little funky, for me at least. It's one up, five down. These are the side fairings. I'm not sure why, but the paint is bubbling here on this one. Slight crack here on the end. We'll have more detailed pictures of these once the bike is dismantled.
motor, motor sounds good. I don't really hear any knocking, banging, tapping going on in there. So that's always nice to hear. The motor does go through the transmission. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble getting to neutral. I think that's something to do with the shifter. You can see it's real pinched in here and it's on a funky angle there. But if you have any questions or concerns about this bike or another bike, please feel free to contact us at RMB Cycle Salvage on Facebook and on eBay. Thank you.